Seekers, welcome to another episode of Critical Hit. My name is Est. And I'm Penn. And today we're going to be discussing Oppenheimer. But specifically, we're discussing Oppenheimer this uh, this time, even though it's about two weeks away from theaters Oof. here, because it just had its world premiere event in Paris. So this, I'm excited. Yeah, this come, these are reactions from Access Media, so you got to take it with a grain of salt, okay. of course. But uh, here, the article says, Oppenheimer, first reactions, praise Christopher Nolan's most impressive work yet, a spectacular achievement, and total knockout. Yeah, keep in mind, these are probably all bought and paid for. Uh, they, they may <laughs> be, but I don't think Christopher Nolan has it in him to do a bad movie. The guy's like one of the last standing amazing no, directors still in Hollywood. This movie's three hours long. I'm excited for it. I think it's going to be three hours too short. Uh, <laughs> well, we'll see. <laughs> Uh, this is going to tell an, an amazing epic story, of course. So just to get into it, Universal Pictures has finally unveiled Christopher Nolan's atomic epic Oppenheimer, a world premiere event in Paris. First reactions to the nearly three-hour drama are pouring in and are strong across the board, with the film being called a spectacular achievement and audacious. High praise. Oh, high praise. Like, and I've seen some reactions in like you know TikTok threads that come out saying, like, oh my gosh, it was such a great movie. And I'm starting to believe them. Well, and you know what's good? Uh, so this is, of course, takes place over, you know, World War II. So that like 1939 to maybe 1945 time period. Maybe it'll go longer. I think he lived from like 1907 to 1963. Okay. But, of course, this goes over, or supposed to cover, the Manhattan Project, which right. was the states trying to develop the atomic bomb. And this is the father of the atomic bomb. Uh, guy was a genius, uh, Julius Oppenheimer. He uh, got a PhD at 23. He learned to speak a language in six weeks. Like he's not very long. Yeah, um, a lot of people thought it couldn't be done at the time, um, but he was a theoretical physicist. He believed it could be done, and he ended up proving it could be done. Um, he's quoted with you know saying some pretty scary things. He thought they were essentially going to destroy humanity with what they'd done. But uh, well, I mean, like it, he did. Well, <laughs> he gave man the power to destroy themselves. I think is what he said, but. Anyways, uh, he wouldn't make the hydrogen bomb, which was pretty interesting because he said he already made something strong enough. They did it without him, based on his work. Oh, I but, see. Uh, so that's where his conscience yeah, was like, no, can't no. do that. Yeah, at this point, guys, we, we've seen it off. Um, but um, super excited for the movie. I think fantastic uh, choice of casting. Like we said, Cillian Murphy. They also have Matt Damon. Just go down a bit so we can see all the casting here. So Cillian Murphy... We have Matt Damon, and we have Robert Downey Jr. playing Louis Strauss. Also, Emily Blunt. I like Emily oh, Blunt, too. I do like Emily Blunt as well. I do, but I'm really, really happy to see Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, no, he's playing Louis Strauss. If I history proves me correct, or my mind proves me correct in my history, I think he was actually the guy that ended up making Oppenheimer lose his security clearance because he wouldn't make the hydrogen bomb. I'm not 100% on that, but I think that's what happened in like the uh, 50s. That's going to be so great to watch that go down. Yeah, so he might actually play kind of an antagonist in this. I, Perfect. Yeah. Be the bad guy. If there was one besides, you know, maybe Hitler. but <laughs> Be the bad guy. Uh, I haven't seen the movie, of course. I don't know, but uh, <laughs> that's kind of where I, I would understand it to be. But I'm, I'm really excited for this. Like I said, I don't think Christopher Nolan has it in him to do a bad movie. And I don't think people... They've been talking about box office down like 6% yeah. this year for summer box office. And that's just because shitty movies have come out. 100% is because shitty movies have come out. It's been like half movies and things that are trying to push something that nobody likes. People want to see history. People want to see the strong male leads. People want to see the, the male who kicks butt and takes names. Yeah, well, I don't think he's going to kick a lot of butt. That's, no, but, no. But I'm excited for it. And I think that people aren't... It wasn't about people not wanting to go to the movies. It was about people not wanting to waste their time and money on bad movies. Uh, or movies that they didn't think were worth it. And I think it's this true. is going to draw people out. It will. I it think will. this tentpole movie. I, I, well, Mission Impossible is this weekend, so I think that will do it as well. Well, yeah, exactly. And that's, like, that's going to be such a great movie. And this movie is also recorded in black and white as well to keep up with the old movie. Oh, that's pretty exciting, actually, yeah. how they would do that. Which I thought was really interesting because they're trying to keep up with like the old history of it as well. Obviously, re-recorded in better quality because of course, it's terrible. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think their cinematography was pretty good back no. then. But I don't think so. Not as like this high quality of what they're going to be putting through for this movie. But it, I, I'm excited to see Christopher Nolan. What he does Cin is always thought-provoking. Cinematography well, is amazing. Inception, score. Yeah, like yeah. Inception like, and Black Knight. 
or Dark Knight. Dark Knight, yeah. <laughs> well, he, he did a great job with everything he did at Warner Brothers, didn't he? Yeah, exactly. And the nitty gritty feeling that they get, I'm pretty sure he's going to immerse that into this film as well. Well, yeah, his first one out of Warner Brothers, back with Universal Studios now. So, anyways, I'm excited for it. Universal, hmm, strange. And the only reason this may not do like you know off the chart numbers is because Mission Impossible. You know, it's got competition the week prior, and yeah. that's going to draw some crowds. And that's the only thing I can see standing in its way because realistically, this is like one of those temple movies I think people are really going to yep, go on absolutely. for. Absolutely. People are going to be drawing crowds in. We want like this movie was great and then you're going to have that big, huge wave of people coming in. I think it's going to get a great word of mouth because like I said, Christopher Nolan doesn't know how to do a bad movie. Christopher Nolan's making a movie? What? Yeah, let's go see it. He always does something <laughs> good. And Cillian Murphy's a fantastic star and I think he will draw crowds in. Exactly. And there's not going to be any underlying message to it or tone. No. No, for lack of a better word, And wokeness. Emily Blunt's in this movie. She hates the freaking She hates the strong female, female lead. Yeah, no, so you know happening. what? Um... Although, I think she plays uh, the woman... The strong female lead? Well, I think she plays the woman that kind of got him involved a little bit in communism as in it, which uh, she was... A, anyways, I don't want to go too much into what I know and try to spoil anything. Female lead. <laughs> but, yeah. But anyways, I just... I think this could be great. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. And I got to say that I think this is what people have been waiting for. Yeah. I, I do believe so, too. But uh, that's all I got. You got anything else? No, nothing, nothing else. Um, but if you guys have anything that you want to ask or if you have any movies that you want us to review, please do let us know. Or if you've seen this movie, tell us about it. Yeah, let us know if you guys are excited for this one as well. But uh, that's all I got for today, guys. I, I'll see you in the next video. See you guys in the next video.